All right, let's take you to TIAA Bank Field, downtown Jacksonville. You are looking live as the Jaguars prepare to play the Titans this Saturday night. Dedicated fans are getting pumped. And something else that they are excited about, new plans for stadium upgrades. As News for Jacks reporter Ashley Harding tells us, one of the plans is to add some much-needed shade. 81% of Jaguars fans have said it just gets way too hot here at the bank and having some shade would make a big difference for their fan experience. Right now, the exact price tag is unknown, but Jaguars president Mark Lamping said last year that it could involve a partnership with the public. Jaguars fans have shown their commitment over the years, and as Jaguars president Mark Lamping told News for Jacks last year, they've spoken and the team has listened. Our fans want to see shade on the seats. Not surprising. They'd like it to be easier to get around the stadium in terms of the vertical transportation to get from level to level. Now some of those stadium upgrades are closer to becoming a reality. A recent report from Venues Now shows the Jags have selected global design firm HOK to spearhead the project. In addition to a shade roof, the preliminary report shows downsizing from about 67,000 seats to about 60,000 fixed seats. Lamping told the publication, we thought they did an exceptional job of understanding this building as it currently exists and addressing the many issues in a very creative way. Everybody looked at the roof a little differently. All the submissions were really strong, but we felt HOK was a little bit better. Lamping said it's still not clear exactly how much the project will cost, and some early estimates suggest the stadium makeover could range from $600 to $800 million, but that could change. Lamping has said the plan is to form a public-private partnership to finance the upgrades. As of now, details on how that would be split up are unknown. Also, there's not an exact time frame on when these upgrades would be installed, but of course, News for Jacks will continue working to gather those details and provide updates. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station. Our News for Jacks insiders are also writing about the renovations. One road, a roof for the stadium is long overdue. Even a full dome would be a good move, but under no circumstance should the seating be further reduced to less than 65,000 seats. We have several events that require more seating, like the Florida Georgia game and future Super Bowls would require more seating. Stop trying to downsize Jacksonville, the viewer wrote. Another writes, if the fans want change, let the fans pay for it. We've got deteriorating areas of Jacksonville that need serious attention now. I've had enough of Shad Khan determining how my tax dollars are spent, that viewer wrote. Now, you can join the conversation right now on newsforjax.com. Just look for this story on the homepage.